This is a really easy dough to make. I make it in an electric mixer fitted with a paddle attachment. First I put in three quarters of a pound of room temperature butter. Then I add one cup of sugar and a teaspoon of good vanilla. Add three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And finally, a quarter of a teaspoon of kosher salt. Turn the mixer on low and just mix the ingredients until they just come together. Turn the dough out into a flour board and shape it until it comes into a flat disc. Wrap the disc in plastic wrap and chill in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. So this is the shortbread dough. It's been chilled. And I'm going to roll it out and make cookies. This is a really great dough, particularly because it's so flexible. I can make all different kinds of star shapes. And but this time, I think I'm going to cut it in half. It's a lot of cookies for just Miguel and me. And the good news is I can freeze the other half for the next time he shows up. And actually, I even flour the rolling pin. There's no point in making cookies if they're going to stick to the board. So I'm just going to roll this out about a half an inch thick. Okay, ready for the cutter. So this is the sort of finger shape that I want to make. And just cut each cookie. Sometimes it's hard to come out of the cutter, but you just tap the edge on the board and it'll just come right out. So I'm using half sheet pan parchment paper. Keeps the pan clean, the cookies bake better. I love parchment paper. These are gonna be delicious cookies. Just a little bit of sugar on the top. Just gives them a little bit of sparkle when they come out of the oven. And then I'm gonna bake them 350 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes until they just start to brown on the edges. Shortbread cookies dipped in chocolate. Now who would have a problem with that? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shave some chocolate. I'm using semi-sweet chocolate, just enough for 10 cookies. If I do it in chunks, it's not gonna melt right. So it's important to just take your knife and just shave it off. First, I'm gonna put half the chocolate in a bowl and microwave it. Thirty seconds. Okay, let's see how it's doing. So the first bit of chocolate's melted, and now what I'm gonna do is add the rest of it and just melt it right in. And what this does is keep the temperature from getting too hot. When chocolate's melted and not tempered, it gets that sort of bloom where it's sort of gray. Not very pretty, you want really glossy, delicious chocolate. So that's just gonna melt right in. Okay, time to dip the cookies. So the cookies are baked and cooled. And I'm just gonna drizzle chocolate across the top of each one. Just half, I, I like the way it looks when it's both. Now how good does that look? They'll be delicious with a tray of shortbreads dipped in chocolate. Dinner just doesn't get any simpler or better than this.